Hey, what is up, guys? It's me, Mr. J from Word Hero, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use our chat prompts feature in Word Hero Chat. Our Word Hero Chat has a feature called Chat Prompts, and this feature allows you to save your frequently used prompts. So let's say you're always using Word Hero Chat to create blogs or create book descriptions, and you're always just using it and typing the same prompts over and over again. Now with this feature, you don't have to do that. All you need to do is save your prompt once, and you can just change it and use it over and over with just a few clicks. I'm going to show you how to use that feature in a few seconds, but first, you need to have a word here account of course go down to the link in the description of this video click on that link sign up for a new account log it in and you should be able to see our homepage right here i did mention that this is a word hero chat feature so let's go ahead and click the chat button here at the top center okay now normally what you do here is just type in whatever you want the word hero ai to do right but that will take you a lot of time if you are always using the same prompt today tomorrow and the next week so what we can do is just go to the left side of our screen here to our chat history if you click on this blue button here from chat history it will switch to chat prompts here is where you can save your frequently used chat prompts click on this blue plus button here a text box should appear and then you can just write in your simple prompts here or advanced prompts which i'm going to show you a little bit later but for now let's try to create a simple prompt here let's say you want to write a blog or you're always writing blog with five subheaders for different topics so you can write in a prompt like write a blog with five subheaders for this topic and then leave space for whatever topic you want to put in so if you want to save this prompt just click on enter and there she is now next time you're going to write a five subheader blog you don't need to type it all in here anymore all you need to do is just go to the word hero chat switch to chat prompts and then click this button right here boom and now it's in the text box here you can edit it let's say you're trying to create a blog about the ocean click that send it to word hero chat and then you will have your five subheader blog in no time there it is so you have this all by just clicking just one button here and then changing the topic right it automatically as well deletes the topic here so if you want to create a new blog with a different topic then you can change it right away now let's say you want to create like social media captions right you want to add a new prompt again just click on this blue button here paste your prompt here suggest social media captions for a post about something something uh, type enter to save and then the next time you want to create a social media caption just click this button and then change what your caption is all about so let's say my new tablet so I have a new tablet and I want to create a social media post about that. All right, there you go. So it created five social media captions for us. Some have emojis, so just choose whichever one you like. So very quick and easy, right? And this tool is very powerful. I'm going to show you a more advanced way to using chat prompts later. But for now, if you like this feature so far, click this like button. And of course, comment down below how you are going to use it on your content creation later. I want to hear from you guys what do you guys think about this new feature we have now the advanced feature of uh, chat prompts that i want to show you goes like this you want to create a new chat prompt right and if you notice here there are some suggestions that tells us that you can use placeholders and you can use tabbing for you to just quickly change the placeholder text so let's say you have a prompt like this you want to write an ad for a specific product name you want a specific tone and a specific length for your ad you can just type this once again use some brackets you can use different types of brackets like the curvy one the square one and this one the angle one you can use whatever bracket you want and once you have this you can save that and then of course click this if you're going to use this prompt now you're trying to write an ad click this and all you need to do now to edit the placeholder text is just clicking tab 
<laughs> there you go so whatever placeholder text you want to edit just click on tab it makes your life much more easier for you to just do this rather than moving your mouse clicking it and then manually editing so let's try to do this writing an ad for uh the new let's say we have a new iphone so we are writing an ad for the new iphone you can just click on tab the tone is excited there you go and the length maybe we can just go with three paragraphs there you go click send automatically the prompt just deletes your edited text so that you can uh, work with a fresh prompt if you want to change something and there you go you already now have an ad for your new iphone you can copy this send this to our editor you can edit this later if you want there you go if you are a creator a writer or if you're always using the word hero chat to do things like making book descriptions creating titles for stories creating songs or whatever you are using word hero for or the word hero chat for and you're always using the same prompts over and over again then all you have to do is just do it once here in the chat prompts feature and then you can just click away whichever prompt you want to use in future time edit this by just manually editing the text or clicking tab if you're using the brackets and there you go i think that is it for this feature this is very powerful guys try this try using different prompts you can use very simple prompts you can use advanced prompts with brackets just like i show you but this is a very good update that we did for you guys to save your precious time in your creations now if you don't want to miss on future updates new tools or maybe updates of the tools that we already have then of course feel free to click that subscribe button and notification bell you will be updated whenever we're creating a new video and on those videos i'm going to explain to you guys how we updated things or add things in word hero of course if you like this tool and word hero in general click that like button it do helps us out a ton and if you want to follow us in all of our social media accounts the links should be down in the description below once again my name is mr j and i will see you guys on the next one Peace.